the Orfit SBRT solution. Attach the SBRT base plate to the treatment couch. The fixation device to attach the base plate depends on the couch top. For further information, please visit our website. The base plate is made out of glass fiber, which makes it MRI compatible. It has different holes and engravings to index the SBRT accessories in a reproducible way. Also, it has a number of slots, allowing a thermoplastic immobilization mask to be attached. Different sizes and shapes of thermoplastic masks are available, such as a head and neck, a pelvic, a thorax, and a knee mask. Two separate cushions to immobilize the knees and the feet can be indexed to the SBRT base plate. The cushion to support the feet has positioning bosses that drop into the holes in the base plate. The cushion to immobilize the knees has the same type of bosses for fitting into the base plate. Moving the cushions is easy so that you can find the most comfortable position for your patient. The engravings on the base plate make sure that both cushions are indexed in a reproducible way. In order to position the arms, the armrest support plate has to be attached to the cranial end of the base plate. The support plate has large holes to accommodate the armrest cushion and smaller holes to position the grip poles. The armrest support plate slides over the cranial end of the base plate without the need of any tools. The armrest cushion has two positioning bosses to attach it to the armrest support plate. When necessary, the armrest can be raised with an elevation cushion. Position the armrest on top of the elevation cushion and attach it to the support plate. There are two positions for the armrest cushion. One in the cranial direction and one in the caudal direction. A set of short and a set of long grip poles can be used on the armrest support plate in the position that is the most suitable for the patient. You can choose to use two grip poles at the same time, so one for each hand, or you can use one grip pole in the middle for both hands. The standard Orfit head supports are compatible with the SBRT solution. There are six different sizes of head supports available. The head supports have two bosses at the bottom that fit into two holes in the base plate. Models 1 and 2 are the standard head supports. Support 2 differs from head support 1 in that it doesn't have lateral neck flaps. Head supports 3 and 4 are the standard paediatric models. And finally, head supports 5 and 6 are as big as supports 1 and 2 but slightly shorter in the neck section. They're used for patients whose head is closer to the shoulders without a distinct neck. To raise the head position or to bring the head into flexion or hyperextension, there are two blocks, one of 2 cm thick and one of 4 cm thick. There are also two wedges, one with an angle of 9 degrees and the other with an angle of 18 degrees. All these elements have bosses and holes to allow them to fit snugly together and to the base plate. To change the position of the head, use the blocks and wedges by placing them between the base plate and the head support. The Orfit SBRT solution has two different abdominal pressure devices, a mechanical pressure system and a pneumatic pressure belt system. For the mechanical pressure system, you need the pressure system bridge that consists of an arch, a screw and a pressure plate. There's a low and high version of the arch. Move the arch in the highest position by opening the locks on both sides and sliding the arch vertically upwards to position 5. Close the locks again. Place the screw in the highest position by opening the locking system, inserting the screw and closing the locking system again. Position the patient on the base plate. Adjust the knee and foot cushion so that the patient is in a comfortable position. Adjust the armrest cushion and grip poles to give proper support to the arms on the cushion.
Place the pressure plate in the correct position on the abdomen of the patient. Be aware that the plate does not exercise pressure on the ribs to prevent fractures. Position the arch on the base plate so the screw will touch the pressure plate once you turn it downwards. Attach the arch to the base plate by closing the clamps. The arch indexes onto the round holes on the side of the base plate. For repositioning purposes, write down the location of the arch. Slide the arch downwards until the screw touches the pressure plate by opening the locks on both sides. Once you've reached the correct position, close the locks again. The different heights are numbered from 1 to 5. Fasten the screw until you've reached the desired pressure or height on the abdomen. The arch can be positioned with the screw facing the cranial end of the base plate and also the other way around with the screw facing the caudal end of the base plate. Choose the correct position so the arch is located outside of the treatment field. In case of an emergency, the screw can be released easily by opening the locking system and pulling the screw upwards. The SBRT solution can be combined with a vacuum bag. You'll most likely need to use the armrest elevation cushion in combination with the armrest cushion. The vacuum bag elevates the body so the armrest cushion should also be lifted. To make sure that the vacuum bag is positioned in a reproducible way, you should use two indexing bars. Position the indexing bars in one of the possible locations on the base plate. Place the vacuum bag on the base plate. Then position the patient on the vacuum bag. Once the patient is in the correct position, attach the bag to the vacuum pump. Switch on the pump to deflate the bag. Deflate the bag for a minimum of three minutes in order to keep the desired shape during six weeks. Once the air has been evacuated from the bag, the bag is closed with the white clamp attached to the vacuum tube and the black sealing pin is inserted in the vacuum tube. The arch and the pressure plate of the mechanical pressure system can now be attached to the base plate. Then turn down the screw until you've reached the desired abdominal pressure. SBRT Pneumatic Pressure Belt System A pneumatic belt can be used to create abdominal pressure. Strap the belt around the waist before positioning the patient on the table. A millimeter scale indicates how tight you have closed the strap. Position the patient on the table. Attach the pump to the bag and start inflating the bag until you've reached the desired abdominal pressure. The manual pump has a pressure readout. Then close the bag with the white clamp attached to the vacuum tube and insert the black sealing pin in the vacuum tube. The SBRT solution can be combined with the thermoplastic mask. A thermoplastic mask to immobilize the patient can be molded to increase the precision of the treatment. As an example, a pelvis mask will be molded. Place the pre-cut over the pelvis of the patient. First attach the top profiles in the slots in the base plate and fix it with the blue EVA blocks. Then attach the two bottom profiles. Make sure the mask fits snugly around the patient's pelvis.